hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so after a long time i am uploading your videos i didn't got time to upload some good videos so let's before that i'm just going to check the comments what i got so entertainment media have asked how can i use uppercase pro so for uppercase so simply you can use there is a function called uppercase in app sheet you can can just google out see just case in app sheet so this function will make you as a whatever the letters you are converting the text it will make you as uppercase so for example this upper this is the function called upper so if you give whatever the text inside the final thing it will give it as app sheet so i can show you some small demo in this so works so for example we have created the invoice app so in this so if you are new to this channel just subscribe and hit the bell icon and so we have already explained how we to we can generate invoice in app sheet you can check in upper link which i have given so just check it out so in this invoice generation so if you want to show upper case so we we'll just go to some maybe we are in profile example this is the invoice bill right so in this um, we'll give a new column called upper case column so this is the invoice bill and bill name we can give as upper case yeah so we we'll just add a new virtual column in this invoice bill just we can name it as um we say invoice name okay. this name so in this we just give a formula called upper whatever the I'll just I'll just show so I'll give this invoice product invoice products invoice i'm giving so using the function upper so it will automatically convert to the upper case right so it's a simple function so just can read in this here so whatever the some text upper this will give the final and lower is also there and initials how it works is only the last name so if you see the initials function if you concatenate first name and last name if you have so for example Martin said initials it will just give the first letter okay of each uh, word so for example this international business machines will give only i b m initials is the first letter of the word so just just want mostly we can use but this upper we will use mostly so maybe like in the hyperlink we can use so hyperlink what we generate it will give the uh, hyperlink of that particular address bar the best use case is for using the hyper so for example in this text name we just give the caps of products invoice so it will work fine but in the in the hyperlink case you have to use this function to give us upper so i will show you that demo so I'll just show this just save So if you search hyperlink in app sheet, hyperlink in app sheet, okay. So in this function, upper will be the most useful function in this. So for example, you just give this google.com as hyperlink Google, but this will give only as Google, even though if you give capital G O G L U, it won't work. I will show you how it does work. Now if you see the invoice name which came as products invoice right as a and the upper case now what we can do is so instead of invoice name we'll just use the hyperlink so we'll just copy paste this google i'm just copying and pasting here 
So even though if I genealogy I need Google, oh, put up. so if you see here, oops, okay, so I want to show Google as well. So you can just simply search Google as caps everywhere, and this is the thing for Apache, right? Okay, but actually it's working for hyperlink also. So general purpose, like if you have any paragraph or big thing, if you want to convert into upper case, it's like in based on some conditions. You can make it as bold or make it as small. So for that case, you can use this upper using if condition. If you have any based on, for example like uh, if it's a, to denote it's an important parameter you just use as upper okay so yeah thank you entertainment media for commenting and uh, now the second one is how can send this pdf to any email automatically okay so in our previous video we have seen the generate invoice sheet so i will give this link you can check it out so this user asked uh, who is that joblin martin asked uh, how to send pdf to any email automatically okay so i'll just show this I'll delete this um, So in the last video, we see how to generate PDF invoice and uh, we show the open invoice thing. So in this video, we'll continue how to send that email in that attachment. Right? So in this automation board, we have covered how to generate email. So I'm adding the first one. So we'll add another step as finally sending email okay so we we'll name it as sending email and run a task select run a task create new task so this is the task new task sending an email so from the table invoice bill via channel this default and to uh, so as of now i'm sending to my mail id Now, so in this switch off this default content here if you want you can give email subject or uh, email body so whatever you want you can give and in the cc bcc you can do okay so in this if you want to send us a attachment attachment content type you can make it as pdf and template you just simply create so it will create automatically based on this data whatever we have so if you see create and view the template it is closing this so see the whatever the uh, bill we have invoice id date whatever the items in that related column it will generate automatically a template so if you want to make any change in this anyway so it's your own purpose whatever you want but this angular brackets don't change uh, if you know to how to change you can change this so whatever within the angular brackets is an expression it's a formula it will generate from the spreadsheet so for example this start and end is a looping formula which i already covered how it works in the previous video if you want to look you can check it out in the top link okay so now we are going to send this as email attachment PDF, right? So attachment template we have created and content type is PDF and attachment name. So name we can give invoice. Okay. So yeah, that's it. And page size don't need to many things will be default, margins and all default. Orientation is maybe default okay so now we will just save and just this email 
now I'm going to create a new invoice so we'll just create a new invoice increase product and bring that up one quantity mobile team and then desktop as for the quantity okay. save okay. so I created an invoice with the products of three items and I'm saving once I save we'll press the generate invoice so this action will trigger this automation so if you see here so we have given the condition generate invoice equal to true right so this generate invoice once it throws and updating then it will trigger this three process so this will generate the invoice file part but this and all you don't need in the previous video we just mentioned uh, how to create an invoice for sending email with that attachment this process alone is enough for you so don't need these two steps this process alone is enough to send an email with that attachment as PDF okay because the template which you have already created here and PDF is everything is done here itself you don't need these steps okay. now whatever the gen we have created we'll just press we'll just press the generate invoice and then sync and I open my mail ID. So it should be the PDF should come like this, okay, in this format. So it's still syncing. Let's wait. Yeah, now we we'll go to the Gmail. Yeah, now I got an email of invoice pdf okay. so this is the attachment open this see the whatever the product quantity price everything came here. so you can change the template whatever you want and you will get the attachment as well so yeah. so you i think hopefully this will solve your doubt to shopping marketing thanks for your comment and if you like the video please like and share and you will see other comments in the upcoming videos i think how to match column value and get data sometimes get value I think I couldn't understand this properly Basarath what you are asking because I need to understand how your data looks like then only can able to reply to this okay guys thanks for watching if you have any doubt just leave a comment and if I able to understand your comment, I will just give a replay and make a video for you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.